two. Hello and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. Well, fresh off of her Golden Globe win, Natalie Portman stars in a film that's coming to theaters this week. Here's Sean the Movie Guy with all the details. I'm a doctor. I work 80 hours a week. I need someone who's going to be in my bed at 2 a.m. who I don't have to eat breakfast with. I hate breakfast. Good. Can a man and a woman have an intimate relationship without actually having a relationship? That's the question behind the new Natalie Portman, Ashton Kutcher romantic comedy, No Strings Attached. Maybe we should establish ground rules. No lying. No jealousy. Don't list me as your emergency contact. I won't call. Don't ask me what I think about your body. Deal. Portman plays a doctor and Kutcher is a TV writer and they're longtime friends who decide to take their relationship to the next level by getting physically but not emotionally involved and in a sort of a re first gender stereotype twist, it's the guy this time who has a hard time keeping his emotions in check. You probably shouldn't snuggle. Yeah, that just felt wrong. Now despite the R rating, No Strings Attached is a mainstream romantic comedy, so you know that everything will work out for the best in the end. Otherwise, how will they attract the date night crowd that should make this film into a modest hit at the box office? You know, Harry Met Sally asked, asked the question some 25 or 30 years ago whether a man and a woman could be friends without sex getting in the way. Frankly, I think the, the question today is, is it possible for a man and a woman just to purely have a sexual relationship without emotions getting in the way? And that's what's new at the movies this week. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy for ETV. Sean, the movie guy, joins us now. Sean, how are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Good. Yeah. So there's only one movie this weekend? Yeah, you know, it used to be that uh, in January and September, those were sort of movie wastelands, and there were many weeks when they didn't release any. So at least we're getting movies, but uh, just one film opening, and that's No Strings Attached. Uh, I mean, there's another one at the flicks, but the mainstream films, films we're talking about. Right. And they didn't show it to us, so I really can't tell you too much about it. It's Natalie Portman, it's Ashton Kutcher. You know, it's a romantic comedy. It's sort of like what we were talking about last week with the dilemma that we haven't had a good general comedy, so it should do okay in the box office. Right. Uh, I, I suspect we, you know, we haven't had a great date night film, so it will probably do a well, do okay. It is a little racy on its surface. It is R-rated, um, but it's a romantic comedy, so you know things are going to get easy and happy ending at the end so um, so you know it is what it is uh, if you're a fan of Natalie Portman uh, if you're a fan of Ashton Kutcher Kevin Klein and some, some good some good a uh, good cast in this so sounds good check it out perfect and what's over at the flicks over the flicks the new one is Rabbit Hole and in Rabbit Hole Nicole Kidman and Aaron Eckhart play a married couple uh, that attempting to overcome the sorrow when uh, when their son is killed in an accident it's based on the Pulitzer Prize winning play and directed by John Cameron Mitchell and it features you know, honestly it features some of Nicole Kidman's best acting that I've seen her do in a long Time, so. Yeah, because the last few movies she's done, uh, not so much. Yeah, this one's very good. Yes. Oh, good. Uh -huh. Then over on home DVD, I would certainly recommend the Australian crime drama Animal Kingdom, uh, if only for the powerhouse performance by Jackie Weaver. Most of us are predicting that she's going to get an Academy Award nomination for Animal Kingdom. Wow. Yeah. Definitely something to watch out for. So over on the uh, new theater, we got some new things here. Um, we have over at Knock 'em Dead Productions, we have Steel Magnolias which is, most people know Still Magnolias from the movie, okay. right? Mm -hmm. But uh, a, a classic of the American theater state. That's over at Knock'em Dead, Thursday through Saturdays, January 21st, this weekend through February 19th, so you've got some time to see that one. 3850021, or go to kedproductions.org. Um, over at Boise Little Theater, excuse me, Boise Contemporary Theater, they have Norway, and that's actually opening up next week, but we want to give you a preview. Uh, January 26th through February 19th over at Boise Contemporary Theater. Um, I like sticking around for the post-show discussion nights, and that's February 4th through the 12th. Uh, go to bctheater.org or call 331-9224 for tickets and information. And then finally, uh, the one that I'm most interested in, uh, which is Cash on Delivery. It's, it's the play that I'm in over at the Boys and Little Theater. We had great crowds this weekend. Yeah. They had a lot of fun. It was a great show. Um, Cash on Delivery weekends through January 28th over at the Boys and Little Theater. Um, 342-5104 or go to boiselittletheater.org. Now, I'll be checking it out this weekend as well, so uh, maybe I'll be able to review you next week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. More ETV right after this. Get ETV, entertainment television, 24 hours a day when you log on to etveverywhere.com.